So now we have two lights in this in this scene. We have this one. We can call it. Um, let's call it uh, light. Or light one. And if I want another light, I can just. Uh, I could just duplicate this one and put it over here. The only thing is, if I'm using multi multi light inside of Max Render, when I I'll just do it so you so you understand what I mean. Uh, I'll just make a render of this. So I'll go to Max Render. Uh, go to how many samples? Twelve. is okay. Thirty minutes. Yeah, whatever. I'll just render it. So now Max Render will launch. Here it is. So now you see. Now you see the 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 two lights working. Max render is going to different sample levels. Uh, then higher the sample level is, the more detail you get. Um, so now these two lights are really bright. Uh, so what I will do is I'm going to stop this, quit it. So as you go back into my, I'll save this one, and then. I'm going to enable multi lighting. That's uh, multi light here off intensity. I'll close this and now I'll do a new render. And what you will see now here on this multi light panel, you'll see the different the different lights. We have the light one, the one I created. I can turn it off completely completely. And then I can turn up the environment light. That's the one, the HDR light. And I can turn. It only uh, updates every time the sample level updates. So now I can, you you can see the preview here down the the little preview here to the left, that up updates immediately. So you you can just make the changes you want. Meanwhile, it's rendering. So the cool thing about this is you can have how many lights you want. You can have hundreds of hundreds of lights and then you can impose go in and change the, the lighting. And that's not that's not possible in, in any other renderer w what I know that I know. Uh so that's that's a really cool feature because um while you're doing your tests and you're testing different lightings you can you can make the render put more lights than you than you need and then go in and turn them off and try different mix them and, and of course it helps if you know a, a little bit of uh, photography and how to how to light your scenes but this way you can even go and see how it how it looks directly and and do all the changes you want uh, yeah in post instead of instead of uh, having to render it over and over again every time so that's a little bit about the renderer and why I liked it and why I used it for for this project uh, I had uh, I didn't have so much time I had like two months and I I worked alone on on it. Uh, I mean, usually you have uh, the modelers and you have the the animators. Uh, you have the render guys, the the people lighting, and wor the ones working with particles. And and since since I'm a generalist, I know all the weird. It's crash again. Since I'm a generalist, I know how 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 everything works uh, and I did it all myself so I needed a render that was fast that I could uh, work with really fast uh, and it didn't matter if uh, if the render was the render was fast rendering that didn't matter the w what matters what ma mattered was if it was fast in in the working process while I'm shading different different uh, things.
that's a little bit of how I how I created this this little movie um, one other thing that was really hard was how to make because some some things are in front of him and some things are behind him so I wanted to first of all have him in the scene so the reflections and refractions if you see you can see him through the glass uh, I wanted it to to him to be in the scene in my scene that's not really hard you just you just put a plane and then you 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 put him in there uh, as an image sequence uh, as a shader to the, to the to the plane uh, yes so uh, let's see if I go to the render camera what which one was it there it is uh, so I just created a plane with him so he could be in the scene uh, and I turn it off so it, it didn't it didn't render um, and uh, yeah, we can go through the scene and see what what I have there. Uh, let's press four so we can move around a little bit easier. Uh, so I have lights. Instead of using spotlights, I create my own lights. I I made a a sphere, and outside the sphere, I made it kind of a cone, and adjusting the cone, the the opening of the cone would adjust adjust how much light you w would cast on whatever um, let's see what else mm. uh, let's see this is a little table and frame it press 5 and this is glass material and this is some kind of chrome um then we have the pillars i created some uh some i don't know what you call this in swedish they're called persian persian um but i wanted them to 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 move let me see if i press four and i scroll around you see they move so I only created a def deformer, and I used uh, you see the 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 bones, joints, do 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 moving. Uh, so that was really standard animation. The I had a sofa over here it was really really ugly sofa, but since it wasn't going to to be really close to the camera then it, it didn't matter this one is a light this one it's a light it's kind of a yeah this is the same table just duplicated it then I created a couple of hats and uh, umbrellas and the hats are also flying around <laughs> you see they're interpenetrating here that didn't matter Let's see where they are. That's there they come. They're flying around, and everything is flying around. 